I hardly use Snap. I find it to be an immature form of communication. I only have one so I can receive snaps from friends and occasionally send people snaps while I'm on vacation somewhere or doing something fun. I do not view Snapchat as a viable replacement for simply texting someone. That being said, when this girl Kate, that I hadn't heard from in months, who I was kind of into one night, randomly snapped me. My face lit up a bit. She snapped me a picture in a dark room, presumably her bedroom, saying, what are you doing? I replied with an awkward selfie, saying watching friends made more awkward with the obnoxiously bright flash from my phone. Another reason I hate Snapchat because I look terrible in selfies. Expecting her to run away after my selfie, she actually snapped back. I could barely make out part of her face. It was 90% black wherever she was with a hint of red glow. She said in the snap to come to her place. I was done with the stupid selfies, so I just messaged her back asking where she sent an address. It was 10 minutes away. I was bored, so why not? I got in my Chevy and started following towards the address. It wasn't that far. I was there quicker than expected, but I'm also a speedy driver. The address was of a house at the edge of the same town I live in, since I have her number. I just texted her, but with my car idling and her not answering right away, I decided to just call her. The call was answered, but she didn't say anything on the other end. In fact, all I heard was garbled background noise, likely because the phone was answered by accident. I said hello a few times, hoping maybe she'd hear me in her back pocket or wherever her phone might have been. I listened for a little while, and eventually I started hearing a man's voice in the background. I screamed hello two more times into the phone, and then I distinctly heard in a girl scream, help me, before the call was hung up. I didn't know what to make of all of that. I texted her one more time, what's going on? Minutes later, I got a text back saying, come in. I just opened the front door, looked at the house, and sure enough, the front door was left open. Now at the same time, I got another snap from Kate. I opened it immediately. It was a picture of her legs in a dark room. She was wearing ripped jeans and it looked like she was sitting on the floor. Something wasn't right here. I wasn't going in that house. I called 911 and reported a possible kidnapping situation. In the meantime, while waiting for the cops, I texted back the number saying, one second I'm on a phone call, then I'll come right in. But there was no answer. In fact, the next time I looked at the front door of the house, it was closed now. I was worried that what I was imagining was coming true. A cop car eventually pulled up behind my car and I pointed them at the house. Another cop car pulled up quickly across the street and two more cops got out. A total of four cops were knocking at the front door. A man opened the door and they identified that they received a reported kidnapping in the house. One of the police officers actually let himself into the house past the man. The other two followed, while one stood with me by the front porch. Not even thirties later, one of the cops yelled at the other two to get him in cuffs, and then a girl's cries for help soon became apparent from the basement. I was in absolute shock when the girl I recognized as Kate was being escorted out of the house in tears. She was a wreck. She looked like she had just experienced a life-changing trauma. I can't even imagine this wasn't even her house, this was apparently the man's house. But the girl's aunt didn't live too far, so she was brought there. Obviously the man was brought to jail and I'm sure he's now in prison. That girl really didn't seem to want to talk to me too much beyond thanking me for saving her life. A bunch of times. I'm not mad about it though. I understand experiencing whatever she went through in that basement is probably something no one wants to think about.